Hey everybody, Melinda here, licensed professional counselor. We are on video number nine today. Why change sucks. Um, if you're hearing in the background a bunch of hammering and drilling, that is because we are getting a new deck put up out back. The super cute husky I showed you in the last video I decided to eat through massive sections of our deck and you could fall through our deck in many different spots. Uh, so we are having the deck replaced and then we're going to have a gate so Titus can't uh, eat the new deck. Anyways, um, video to sheet number nine, if you don't have your workbook yet, go to uh, Facebook and type in personal growth with Melinda Motter Lucas. And if you go to the shop, you can get your workbook and then you can just start uh, back over with video number one and work through the workbook. You need to be doing the worksheets with these. They dive a lot deeper into the topic and it will relate it directly to you and help you process this deeper with how it connects to you. Okay, let's get right into the video. Why change sucks. It does. It's hard. So anytime we have something new or a change, our body is uh, created to stay in a an even keel. Like we we know if things are going normal, normal does not mean great, normal does not mean that that's where we need to stay. But if things are going normal, our body knows it's keeping us alive and we're safe. That's all our body and our brain knows. So anytime we start to change something or put something new in, our body automatically says, warning, warning, you're changing something up on me. What are you doing here? And we automatically be like, oh, freak out. This must not be right. What our body does is give us all of these warning signs, triggers. So things that are probably very similar to when you're feeling anxious or something's going wrong in your life. It's the same type of feeling you get in your body and your mind. So it's so easy to say, this is new. This is different. It must not be right. That's not always the case though. Your body's just saying, warning, warning, it's different. I need you to think about this. So for example, um, let's say, okay, for younger kids maybe, or even adults, if you're going off the diving board for the first time or the high dive for the first time, your body and your mind might be saying, warning, warning, this is different, I'm scared. Um, and then you go off the diving board and it's the most fun thing you've ever done. Maybe you start a new job or you're taking new classes or meeting a new group of friends. It's the same thoughts, the same feelings, the same warning signs in your body that are just having you look at it, saying, warning, warning, this is new, this is different, it's a change, what are you doing? You're mixing up my, my jam, my routine. It does not mean it's bad. You need to stop yourself and think, okay, am I starting something new? Is this a change? This is my body probably telling me, warning, warning, you're just doing it different. It doesn't mean it's bad. So think through, think through some examples. When are some times that you started something new or made a change and you can think, I had these warning signs. My body was telling me I had that nervous feeling. I was sweating. My, my shoulders were tense, but it turned out great. I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I started that new job. It was actually the best job I've ever had. I'm so glad those warning signs didn't scare me off. And that's a lot of times what we do. If we have these warning signs and we're saying, oh, it must be too scary. Oh, I can't do it. It must not be right. We can talk ourselves out of so many things when really we just need to think through, okay, warning, warning. It's new. It's different. Great. Our body's telling us to think it through. It doesn't mean it's going to be bad though. All right. So that is the topic for today, um, number nine in your workbook, I'm going to put a link up here to subscribe to the channel. That'll help you get a notification anytime a new video comes out. Get your workbook on um, the Facebook page, Personal Growth with Melinda Motter Lucas. And we will be back next Tuesday with um, looking at the top five people we hang out with and how that affects us. All right. Have a great day.